Good morning, Tims County High School. This is your 18th episode of the morning show for November 10th, 2020. And this is a very special week because... Wednesday is Veterans Day, so we'll be dedicating our two morning show episodes to the veterans who have sacrificed so much for our freedom today in the United States. Now on to Demetia Lawson and Ethan Corbett for a special segment about Veterans Day. Veterans Day was first started as a way to remember the end of World War I. World War I, known at the time was as the Great War, officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919 in the Palace of Versailles outside the town of Versailles, France. However, fighting didn't stop between the Allied nations and Germany until the 11th hour of the 11th day and the 11th month. For that reason, November 11, 1918 is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars. The original concept for the celebration was for a day observed with parades and public meetings and a brief suspension of business bring, beginning at 11 a.m. to remember the time World War I ended on November 11th. An act approved May 13, 1938, May the 11th of November, and each year a legal holiday. A day to be dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be thereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. Armistice Day was primarily, primarily a day set aside to honor veterans of World War I, but in 1954, after World War II had required the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen in the nation's history, after American forces had fought aggression in Korea, the 83rd Congress, at the urging of the Veteran Service Organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserting its, in its place the word veterans. With the approval of this legislation on June 1, 1954, November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. So that's how Veterans Day started. We remember Veterans Day in lines by lining Victory Drive with crosses dedicated to veterans in Toombs County who have passed away. It's important for us to remember their sacrifice. Now on to Lucas O'Connor and Jara Reyes with our sports break. Today's sports break is brought to you by the Flying Tee, your one-stop shop for everything you need at Toombs County High School. Our football team will take on the Swainsboro Tigers in the pit this Friday in a region matchup. The esports team defeated Tinesboro High School of Tinesboro, Massachusetts this Thursday. They will take on A.N. Myers Secondary School of Ontario, Canada this Tuesday in the first international athletic competition in school history. Basketball season starts in two weeks. Our first game will be at home against Portal on November 24th. Now on to the school announcements. We're glad to announce that our school store, the Flying Tee, is going to be open during lunch today. Make sure to stop by and see what's available. Anybody interested in soccer, there will be a meeting this Wednesday in the boardroom during announcements. Miss Snow is selling fall t-shirts. If you'd like more information, please go see the school Facebook and Instagram pages. Today for lunch we are having country fried steak, sliced pork roast, glazed carrot, cornbread, and mac and cheese. The Lions Light at Christmas Parade is December 4th at 6 o'clock. This year's theme is a storybook Christmas. All advisors and coaches, please consider having your students in it. The parade registration is on www.lionsmainstreet.com. Let's have a solid presence from Toombs County High School in this year's parade. That was your 18th episode of the Morning Show for November 10th, 2020. Remember to take time to reflect on our sacrifices from our veterans tomorrow. Also remember that our football game is this Friday at the Pit versus Swainsboro. Until next time, go dogs.